We're here at GET 2016. It's the second Global Forum on Emergency Telecommunications in Kuwait. And I'm very pleased to be joined by the Honourable Kapemwa uh, Simbao, who is the Minister for the Ministry of Transport and Communications of the Republic of Zambia. Minister, thank you very much for being with us in the studio today. Thank you. Um, I'd like to start off by asking you how, in your opinion, can disaster risk reduction and management help achieve sustainable development? Yeah, well, um, as you know, disasters uh, damage infrastructure in most cases. And for countries like Zambia, which is a least developed country, any uh, damage to infrastructure is a very big drawback uh, because it takes us uh, quite a lot of energy and resources which we really don't have to replicate or put up the infrastructure that got damaged. So um, that's, that's how I would explain the linkage uh, between the, the two. And what are the major concerns for you in terms of disaster risk reduction in uh, Zambia? First of all is to save lives, first of all. That's our major concern. Um, you know, any life lost due to disasters is uh, very painful. Uh, because it's something that uh, if properly uh, looked at or planned could be avoided. So first of all our concern is to save lives and of course later to bring back to normal uh, the lives of the community who have been affected. And what in your opinion is the best way to move forward from planning to implementation? Yeah, uh, I think in our case as Zambia uh, we have a problem of uh, not having a early warning uh, system and as such, we just react to disasters when they happen. So planning uh, becomes a bit difficult until maybe we have a system like what I understand now, ITU, uh, trying to start with just one area in our country. And uh, then they hope that we'll expand that system to the rest of the country. I think if we have that hair owning system, it's easy first of all to plan and also then get ready for implementation. Uh, we believe that uh, we need to put up a um, um, uh, center, um, I don't know how to call it, a command center uh, where everything can be coordinated and as such implementation I think would be easy because uh, once something happens and then we know that like, for example we don't have ambulances then we we'll know exactly where to position ambulances so that next time something like that happens you easily command uh, that particular uh, sector to go over there. But I think to start with, we need a command center. And uh, I believe it might cost us quite a lot of money to put it up. And the role of ICTs in all of this? Yes, of course. Uh, all this is coordinated by ICT. And, and, and without it, I think it, it wouldn't just be possible. Uh, so first of all, yes, we have to strengthen our arm of ICT, uh, which I believe we are trying uh, as a country. And finally, how can events such as this at GET16 help stakeholders join forces for a better tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I must say that uh, this has been really an eye-opener. I'm glad I came here. Um, I think this is the first time, I guess, uh, a person at my level has attended uh, a meeting like this. Uh, in the past, um, our deputies have been assigned uh, for lack of appreciating the importance of uh, meetings like this. So um, I'm glad I came and uh, really it has been an eye open and there are a number of things we have to go do uh, when we get back home. Uh, for example, we haven't signed the temporary convention, uh, I think which puts that at a very uh, big disadvantage. And uh, we also haven't signed another um, paper to do with uh, ITSO. Uh, again, that is not good for us because uh, whatever is happening in these circles, uh, I think we're being left out. And I think if I hadn't come, uh, probably there wasn't going to be enough authority to go back home and try to enforce to do these things by the country. So me coming here, I think has helped Zambia, because when we get back home, we'll seriously look into these things and get on the same table or platform like the rest of the other people. And I believe that's how we are uh, you know, coordinating for having been here. Well, that sounds very positive and uh, we wish you the very best for the future. Thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. <laughs>